with your scroll wheel. If you hold Alt or Option on the Mac and depress the center button, you can pan around the screen. All right, so you can move your quadrants from left and right. Okay. Um, in Mastercam, anytime we go to create something, we're going to be using the Create button or the Create menu. Okay. So if I want to create a line, I'm going to click on Create Line. If I want to create a circle, I'm going to go to Create Arc and find a circle. All right. So anytime you can think about if you're creating something from scratch, you want to use the Create button. All right. If you're editing something that's already been created, it's going to be found under the Edit command. All right. And if you need to transform something that's already been created, you can think about it being under the Xform command. Xform is their version of transform. So we have Create, Edit, and Xform. All right. So if you remember, when we worked with hand drafting, the first thing that we did was we created a border for our sheet of paper. All right. That border was a quarter inch around um, every side. Okay. So in our particular case, if the sheet's eight and a half by eleven, we know that our border needs to be um, ten and a half by eight. So what I'm going to do is, if you take a look at our origin, all right, off our first quadrant. So we have our first quadrant. This is the origin right here. If I place my cursor directly on the origin. You'll notice in the top left on our ribbon bar, all right, which is up here, we have a call out of where our cursor is. So if I move my cursor down here, it says that I am at 0, 0. All right. You should also notice that every one of these increments um, allow us to move and they give us different snap points. If your grid isn't allowing you to snap, you could go to settings, configuration, grid settings and snap always all right on 0.25 oops let's go back to settings we want our grid at 25 i apologize grid 25 snap always on there we go all right so the first thing i want to do is i want to create a line an endpoint line that starts at a quarter inch so I'm going to type in a quarter right here on my X coordinate my Y coordinate is going to be zero or I'm sorry it's going to be a quarter inch as well all right and the distance is going to be um, 10.5 so when I come down and click this that line is automatically placed all right so that's the length of my line right there I can go ahead and check that off. The cool thing about anytime we have a CAD package, one of the advantages of a CAD package is this uh, offset utility. That's common to any CAD package. So if you go to Xform Offset, Offset is going to allow you to basically copy a line directly off a line. So Xform, which is Transform Offset, I want to offset this line up 8 inches. So I'm going to type in 8. I'm going to click on the line and I'm going to click up here. I can go ahead and hit the apply button to lock that line in. And then all I'm doing is creating a line that connects these two. All right. That's how we create the basic border for our document. You'll also remember that we had a quarter inch line going across here so we could create text and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, X form offset quarter inch 0.25 and I'm going to offset this line up. That's going to be our basic title block that we're going to use for all of our drawings. All right. So I could save that as a title block. That way uh, when you go to create a new drawing you can basically just keep using that title block.